All right, you guys, welcome. Now, it is February 13th, okay? I want this video to go up on Valentine's Day so we can all, you know, share this video together. So we're gonna pretend that it's Valentine's Day. It's actually the 13th. But either way, it would have been kind of the same day. So if you clicked on this video, you might also be alone today and just wanna have a little Valentine's Day with your girl, with your girl Nez. I'm gonna go buy myself flowers whatever other Valentine's goodies I can find. Some chocolate covered strawberries. And then, I don't know, we're gonna come home and just have a little kiki, a little Valentine's day, eat some food, maybe, you know, watch a movie. I don't really know. Now it is the 13th, which means I am editing this to post for you guys tomorrow. So hit that like button for a commitment. Also, fun fact, most of you who watch my channel aren't even subscribed. So do me a favor and hit that subscribe button because it's free. Okay, so first we're gonna hit up Target, so. So tell me why I came to the Valentine section and they already switched it to Easter. We still got one whole day, Target. What am I supposed to do with this? Anyways, I found myself some roses and let's go find a candle. All right, so I got my goodies. I will show you everything I got when I get home. Got myself some roses. Um, also, I did self-checkout and the machine did not give me my receipt. I think it like ran out of paper, but I was just like, didn't feel like asking someone for it. So I was hoping that they weren't gonna ask me for a receipt at the door when I was leaving because it would have looked like I stole all of this. So anyways, I'm gonna go pick up my chocolate covered strawberries. Um, I ordered them to pick up, so we're gonna go do that. Okay, so change of plans. I didn't realize I still have an hour until I have to pick up the strawberries, so I'm at McDonald's because I'm starving. And I just don't care. Ah. Oh, that's crispy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Cute, it has little hearts on it. So it says the Cardi B and offset meal. I wish I would have gotten that. I don't even know what it is, but I want it. So I'm gonna sit here and eat this. I don't know what the Cardi B offset meal is right now, but if I were to ever have my own McDonald's meal, mine would be a Big Mac drenched in like sweet and sour sauce, and then a cheeseburger with like French fries in the middle of the cheeseburger. <laughs> Mm, yum. I forgot to ask the guy for sweet and sour sauce because I usually will dip my Big Mac in a sweet and sour, but also for the longest time, right? I was like, why are they not putting ketchup packets in my bag, right? When I'm ordering through the drive-thru. And if you didn't know, I think California passed a law, I don't know, to prevent like waste, you now have to ask for like the condiments that you want or ketchup. But I'm like, if I ordered fries and a, if I ordered a meal, wouldn't I want ketchup? I know not everyone likes ketchup, so I take that back. But also, how do you not like ketchup? Comment down below if you don't like ketchup and why. Anyways, how's everyone doing on this fine Valentine's Day? There's someone walking past my car. I wonder what people think when they see me talking to myself in my car and just like eating. Also, I met one of my subscribers at Target. She was really cute, really nice. So if you're watching this, thank you for coming to say hi and for gassing me up. She told me I was really pretty and it made me feel really good. So, yeah. Oof, I am making a mess. Guess who just spilled ketchup on her white sweatshirt that she just washed? We're doing great. I'm gonna show you all the goodies I got from Target. First off are these room sprays. Also, none of this is sponsored. This one's Jasmine and Lang, is it Lang Lang? I hope I'm not butchering that. And this is citrus and white oak. This is more of like a, I feel like a feminine smell. This is more of a masculine smell, but it just depends on the mood I'm in that day, you know? Also, if you didn't know, smelling jasmine is supposed to help you when you're like PMSing. I used to have this body wash 
from Lush that literally was for that. And they discontinued it. But I used to be obsessed with it. So anyways, I got these two room sprays to just have, you know, some vibes in the air. And then the candle I ended up choosing, I ended up buying a small size and a large just because I wanted a smaller size for like my bathtub for when I take baths. But this is the black cedar candle from Target. It looks like this. I don't know how to describe this very well. It's not like sweet. It's like, it smells like a boy. <laughs> how fitting. And then I got this cute ass pajama set. It is hot pink. Now I'm not much of a pink girl, but because it's Valentine's Day, I figured why not go all out. It is so cute. It also comes with an eye mask, which is great for me because my blinds don't really block out the sun. And of course I got myself some red roses and some chocolate covered strawberries, which I'm gonna open right now because I haven't seen them. Guys, look at these. I'm just gonna eat one right now because why not? Cheers. Also, this is gonna be a really random fact, but I guess for like your blood type, there's certain foods that are better for your blood type and then like foods you should kind of avoid. And I feel like I looked mine up once because I have O negative blood, which means I can give blood to anyone, but I can only receive from O negative. Anyways, I read somewhere that I'm not supposed to eat a lot of strawberries for my blood type, but like, it's one of my favorite fruits. So anyways, I'm gonna throw on these pajamas, take my chocolate covered strawberries upstairs, and maybe we'll do a little reading, watch a little TV, light a candle, and just have a chill sort of evening. The sun is about to go down. All right, so this is what the pajamas look like. They're super soft. Super cute. So now I'm gonna lay here and eat these and read. Now, I know that I'm late. I know I've had this. You guys know I bought this forever ago. I'm hooked. I'm almost done. Someone actually gifted me the second book at my New York show at my meet and greet. So shout out to you because it is in my library. So I'm so happy that I won't have to go to the store to get that. Oh, hello, good boys. <laughs> Do you have a Valentine? Is Henry your Valentine? He is, huh? I knew it. You are my number one Valentine always and forever, okay? You're all the man's I need, right here. Okay? <laughs> well, now I don't know what to do because he's being so cute. And I don't want to move him. This book is so good. I cannot wait to review this on Nessa's note. So I did a little damage reading. Now, I feel like I need to choose a movie. Also, Loki has been staring at these strawberries for so long. Loki, they have chocolate, you cannot have them. I know, I know, I'm sorry, but you know. Actually, I think I'm gonna do a poll on Instagram and let you guys choose what movie I watch, so. So my day kind of took a turn. Um, shortly after that last clip, my friend hit me up and asked me if I wanted to catch up, grab some dinner, so I met with her and I just got home. So I'm gonna take off this makeup and get back into bed and watch whatever movie you guys chose for me. I just washed my face and put on my skincare, but I'm gonna quickly show you the order of my skincare and my products. So my cleanser for years now is the Youth to the People Superfood Cleanser. However, it's downstairs in my suitcase and I have it fully unpacked from Jamaica and I'm way too lazy and tired to go downstairs. So what did I do? I used this sample of this cleanser that I've never tried before, but so far my skin likes it. So it is the Outset Gentle is it micellar water? Is that how you... Anyways, it says gentle micellar antioxidant cleanser. It was really gentle, really great, and it 
took off my mascara without me having to do my other step to take off my mascara so and then this is probably what keeps my skin clear this is the pharmacy deep sweep 2% BHA pore cleaning toner so I basically take this and as many cotton swabs as it takes but after I cleanse my face and I cleanse my face pretty well but I'll put this on some cotton pads and sweep my face and I'm always shocked at how much makeup is still left on my face so I basically will just keep doing this until the pads are clear of makeup next I have a couple of these this is a sample size of the Dr. Barbara Sturm the good C vitamin C serum now this is way too expensive for me to buy the full thing so if you guys have any good vitamin C serums that you love that haven't broken you out that are more on the gentle side let me know. As you guys know, my moisturizer also for a long time now is the Ole Henriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. I already have a new one on deck because this one is basically empty, um, but I continue to buy this. It is my favorite moisturizer. And this is my last step. This is the Peach and Lily Transparency Pro Spot Treatment. This has been helping me for months now to fade my spots. Like, this was so dark before now this is like an oil so I don't think this would work on like oily skin but it leaves me super dewy but I only put it on like the spots that I want to fade that was my skincare routine for tonight I usually also put a hyaluronic acid serum which is also downstairs I did link all of my current products on my Amazon shop which I will leave down below so you guys can check them out all right so I did a poll on Instagram and I asked if I should watch Legally Blonde, Crazy Stupid Love, which by the way is one of my all-time favorite movies of all time because Ryan Gosling, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days or Clueless and How to Lose a Guy won by a lot. You guys basically all voted for that one. So that's what I'm going to throw on. Okay, so the movie's almost over, but before I knock out, I just wanted to say I love you guys so much. I hope you had a great day, regardless of your relationship, situationship, status. Seriously, you guys, thank you so much for all the love and support lately. I can't begin to explain just how much it's helped me through everything, so I love you. But yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the family, and I love ya. We're doing great, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.